It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Team Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 316. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my lovely co-host, comedian <laughs> Noel Winters Herzog. We're having the best day. <laughs> How are you feeling, Noel? I'm feeling so good. I'm sitting here with my thermometer, <laughs> my emotional support alcohol to sniff. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. We're here to talk about the next chapter or the new chapter. There's no way to know. Season one, episode 30. Noel. Yeah. Next week is the two hour finale. Can you believe that? And that's it then, right? I think so because I haven't seen a, tr- I just have a candle here that's exploding. So that's what I'm looking at. Sorry. Oh, good. Perfect. Um, they, I haven't seen a trailer for anything and mm-hmm. they just started filming teen mom family reunion. Terrible. Yeah. I posted, if you go to our Instagram page, I posted the Ashley's article yesterday and it's like bar and Ashley got kicked off before filming even happened. Oh, I saw that. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it just, this just started. So I think we're going to ha- wait a little bit. So we're going to, you know, <laughs> we're going to mm-hmm. go back to team mom too, which is really going to fucking make my life guys. I know. Okay. Can I tell you what I wish? I, I will not wish time away. I okay. will not wish time away. Cause that's not nice to do. You shouldn't do that. But I can't wait till we're finished with teen mom too. And uh-huh. then we start teen mom season one episode one with farah yeah right yeah i don't i don't i love teen mom too more than that i understand that but this is gonna be wild too the thing is we have so much to cover still we have it's crazy we have years worth of stuff when did we even start this podcast what was episode one like what was the episode i mean it was six years ago yeah, that's too many years ago. How and do we we're find only out? on the second season of Teen Mom for the throwback episodes. So you know what I'm saying? Let's say Teen Mom Trash Talk. That's our podcast, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Episode one. Let's see if it's... I don't even know if we were writing what was happening at that point. I don't even... I have no idea what the first season we covered. Okay, this is Teen Mom OG season six recap. Really? OG season six. Now remember something. OG was not even Teen Mom. No, I know. First there was Teen Mom. Then there yeah. was Teen Mom OG. I mean, we have a bajillion. We just did the whole first. Oh, we did the first episode, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no. We did the whole season, I guess, in the first episode. Really? Maybe. It says comedian Tracy Carnazzo recaps Teen Mom OG season six with her co-host and Teen Mom fanatics, Gabrielle Fergala and Noel Winters in their first episode of Teen Mom Trash Talk. No, I think we just covered the. It must be we're covering that season or something. Hmm, There's no way see. we covered a whole season in one episode. Let me see, because I'm going to. Um, let's see. There's no way to know if anyone could tell us <laughs> we weren't here for this. What is the second episode description? Hold on. I'm trying to see if I could. So, um, Let me see if how I could uh, here. Oldest to newest. OK, let's see. Um, OK, this <laughs> episode two: the bacon slap heard around the world. The girls discuss the bacon slap heard around the world. Cole's perma baby voice, spiteful Kaylin and Janelle's third baby daddy in this teen mom two season seven recap where we just Hmm. Doing the whole season? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, episode three. Um, hold on, let's see. Uh, no way. Episode three, Kale and Javi say, I don't. I don't even oh, remember talking about that. Brianna is introduced to the crew. Chelsea bores us. Leah goes back to school. Yeah, okay. Kaylin Lord. and Javi divorce, and Janelle remains the trash queen supreme. Teen Mom 2 season eight. Yeah. Sep- episode one recap. Did you like yeah, how I said see, this episode? Uh-huh, but see that I feel like yes, I remember that. Okay, episode four, Walmart. Kale lets the insignificant kid out of the bag. Oh, wow, we're so <laughs> wow. <mean. laughs> Aubrey throws a boring tantrum. Addie yells about Walmart, and Brianna gets called a strong, independent woman. Season eight, episode two recap. Interesting. This is a fun game, huh? But that's what I'm saying. So when we have been recapping, what are we on season three of Teen Mom 2 now? Like we still have yeah. a million seasons. No, I know. Yeah. Uh, episode five. How many baby daddies does it take to screw in a teen mom? The ladies catch up on the latest three episodes of Teen Mom 2. Yeah, we used to like binge three them. episodes. We discussed Kale's pregnancy, Leah's new crazy lipstick scam. Hilarious. Uh-huh. And Brianna's incestuous family. Recap of episodes three, four and five of season eight. 
Imagine if you made me do episodes three, four, and five of any season right no. now. No. no. Episode uh-uh. six, The Girl Who Cried Adoption. Leah drops out of college for the 50th time. Uh-huh. Chelsea loves Watson more than Aubrey. Janelle has more baby daddies than you could shake a stick at. Brianna threatens adoption again. Oh, look at us. Uh, while Kaylin's mouth flops more than ever. Hilarious. I like that. But there's, shake I didn't put, at. I didn't put uh, what episode that was. Um episode seven this land is your land david chops the <laughs> lamb with a sith while janelle continues to be controlled brianna rents a house to make a party to make party favors and kaylin's butt distracts us all in a bad way leah is sweet to ali at the doctor chelsea and aubrey bake a cake and continue to bore us to death what else is now they bake a box cake they bake. i mean i, I love a box cake episode eight ain't nobody we care boo aubrey discusses adam's narcolepsy with chelsea brianna <laughs> chooses the wrong undergarments for her shower leah and Corey make us proud according to her kids kaylin is not a chef while david prepares the land for a burial <laughs> oh everything's fine anyway sounds good Ah, before we get into the new chapter, next chapter, season one, episode 30, I just want to let you guys know that we do have other podcasts going on on patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Go to Patreon, join at the super duper trash talker level and up, and you will get our new podcast. So pumped a Vanderpump rules podcast where we watch it from the beginning. And we're so pumped about it. We're so pumped. Uh, you can also check out uh, 90 day fiance the other way, which is exclusively on Patreon and our favorite podcast BS. Now, one more thing before we start and jump into the pool. We are having a live podcast in New York City, part of the New York Comedy Festival. It's going to be November 11th, Saturday, 11, 11 at 4 p.m. on the Lower East Side of New York City at Caveat, New York City. So go to TracyCarnazzo.com for all of those tickets. And uh, yeah, also I'll be in Maryland, October 19th, opening for Hannah Burner, formerly of Summer House. Awesome. Thanks so much, Noel. <laughs> Teen Mom. New chapter, season one, episode 30. That's it. We're jumping in. Yeah. And then next week we have a double episode and then right. the season's over. Great. <laughs> All right. So Tyler and Kate, we start with them. They're going to visit with Carly this year. So Dawn comes right. over. They haven't seen Carly in two years. I'm assuming because of COVID. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. So Carly is actually going to be coming to Michigan. That's cool. Now, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Are we still doing this thing where like Caitlin's not and Tyler aren't allowed to know where Carly lives? I think so. I mean, all right. no, I know it's like so lame. Here's the thing. Tyler isn't going to come over and take Car- Carly. No, no one's, one's coming over. Yeah, no one's coming over. They couldn't make a scrapbook. So like, guys, nobody's coming over. You're safe. Tyler wrote a letter to his old trailer. Right. It was a paragraph long. Right. No one's putting in any effort to do anything. Yeah, uh uh-uh. So uh, it's not happening. You don't have to worry about that. She can know where you guys live. Well, you guys can know where she lives. Yeah. So Nova, they're like, how do you feel? And she's like, oh, my God, my mind is spinning. Imagine you had a sister and she got taken away from you. Like, who feeds her these lines? Oh, they because that was was in the flashback. Imagine your sister got taken away from you. And Uh Kate's like, "Uh, do you remember Amber with the vacuum? Right. Tyler's like, I wish. Yeah, he's like, I see the thing she posts on he's Instagram. Like, he's like, do you know how much money I had to pay to get my sister taken away from me? Uh huh. Do you know how many jars of urine I had to pour out <laughs> at that house? Oh, gross. He's like, I had to give her a house to burn to the ground. Uh-huh. <laughs> gross. Nova's bang is strong. That's a strong uh, genetic bang. She used to be much cuter. Sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. Carly will be 14. That's wild. Okay, so Dawn, the Dawn, Dawn is the, the worst. The worst. Okay. Uh-huh. Like, oh my God, Dawn's here. Yeah, and it's like, close um, the door, lock it. <laughs> lock it behind you. Sign these papers, little girls. <laughs> They're like, Nova, if you ever have a baby, do you want to give it to Aunt Dawn? We can arrange it in the parking lot if yeah, you want. Yeah, let's do it right now. Oh God, terrible. So they, sug- Dawn suggests that they go in to a vacation atmosphere. In Michigan? No offense. Is that a thing? There's lakes. Yeah, there's lakes. Okay, but it's like, why is Carly coming to Michigan just to see them? Fine. But what I guess they didn't have a plan. I guess they're like, we'll just come to you. It'll be easier. You have 20 kids. That's true. Yeah, Yeah. that is true. Um, I think that's a good idea, though, to go on a vacation. Too bad they can't go to Cancun and get an all inclusive. Oh, that would be good. I would definitely. I will tell you, I would not invite April to that hell no she's the last person i'd invite so they only get 48 hours together 
That sucks. It's never enough time. I know. So April and Kate got in a fight about old footage on TikTok. I think I probably posted on a TikTok. Sorry. I know. I'm like, was that Noelle? Yeah. Possible. Also, she called Kate to mm-hmm. fight with her about a video that April saw of her abusing her daughter. Right. But April, you did the stuff. I'd be like, you know what? Actually, I'm mad. Yeah, I'm actually mad at you for being a see you next Tuesday to me. Look, watch the video again, Ma. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> so oh, um, God. she's not sure if she wants to invite her. Right. So well, don't her, invite her. Just hey, how about how about don't? Why do you have to invite her? Stop. See, but like Kate, it's like, how codependent Kate. are you? Kate. Stop. It's like every time you're with April, she's wasted. Right. You're like, I'm not going to be around her if she's wasted. And then you're You're like, she was wasted. Right. You're nervous every time she's around. What are you doing? Also, you think Brandon and Teresa want to hang out with April? Hell no. I'd be like, leave the Big Bang home. Yeah. (laughs) Leave that skull at home, please. (laughs) The Big Bang. (laughs) Leave the little bang at home, too, while you're at it. (laughs) Leave the generational bangs. (laughs) Well, I mean, listen. You can't yeah. say that because Carly's definitely banging. Well, that is true. I bet you Carly's banging. She has to be. It's yeah. it's in her blood. <laughs> she comes from a long line of bangs. Be positive. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Right, is that what we are? Be positive? Me and you? We, we're be something. There's no way to Negative, really. positive. Whatever. I mean, we're the same thing. That yeah, I thank know. God. Thank God. I'm going to give you yeah, a blood transfusion later. Do it. I need it. You're so red. <laughs> it's just my camera. I swear. I know. <laughs> So uh, Alexa and her walk on the beach. This isn't the most ideal situation for filming. Okay, but also like. Okay, I just want to tell you something. I said that name uh-huh. and I don't want to tell you what happened. That's in my house what I thought. Now. I was like, why did you say that out loud? Okay, everything in my house just went uh-huh. on. Yeah, of course. Great. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Great. Yeah, that's not a good time. Yeah, so they're walking on the beach. Maybe they should have just sat down. Conflicting outfits. Maybe they should have sat down. In yeah, a quiet I guess place. they wanted to show that Michigan has vacation spots. They were struggling. Yeah, they were. It was a very bumpy beach, if you will. It was very bumpy. So she's like, uh, oh, do you want me to come with you? I could take care of the kids. And she's like, yeah, I need someone to take care of the kids. You need someone to take care of the kids on the kids visit with Carly. Right. Also, the loudest birds I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and I don't usually get distracted by background noises. Yeah. I couldn't. When you usually birds. like birds a lot. Yeah, I love birds. You should see the buffet in my backyard in the morning. (laughs) What do you do? Like a little scrambled egg and a hot bacon? No, I take like a cup of seed and I line it on my like deck outside. And they all just stand on it and feast. Then a pigeon came the other day and scared them all away. I got so mad. Oh, come on, Pidge. Yeah. It's like the April bird. Yeah, it had a bang. (laughs) So, uh... April, when, when April called to yell at her, she was drunk. She right. Just, she didn't know that. Mm-hmm. So she's going to, I mean, you're going to take, I can't say her name because you know who's going to go. Alexa. Up. You're going to take her to your Okay. Visit? Question. Yeah. When they showed the flashbacks. Yeah. That was her in the car with them, right? Alexa. Oh, was it? I I'm almost notice. positive it was. Oh, maybe she's the visit lady. Maybe yeah. they keep her around so she can watch the kids once every three years. Yeah. All right. So then they talk about how adoption was trauma for her and then they sure. cry. And then Alexa's like, hey, do you want me to kiss you on the mouth? She's I think like, Alexa hey. was a little too invested. Uh-huh. Way too invested. So mm-hmm. turns out Kate talked to April. They made up. She apologized. But Kate, nothing's changed. Well, that's the thing. But now April is sober and going to AA meetings. Yeah, okay. Okay, sure. Listen, I got a bridge hope- to sell you. I hope so. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to say. No, anything, but... I know. But like, come on. I saw the hidden Hennessy above her cabinets. You right, know what I mean? Listen, I saw the tanks that she keeps in her house. Right. I saw her bang. Well, you know what? This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Love BetterHelp. Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? Mm, right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. 100%. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. Oh, story of my life. Of course. Therapy is helpful for, helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. Kate is not setting a boundary. No, she's not, but she Sorry. keeps saying she's going to. Just saying. It isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. If you are thinking about starting therapy, you can give better help a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule. 
Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you could switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Love it. Done it. <laughs> I've done it too. <laughs> Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Trash Talk today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Talk. Okay. Let's talk about Leah. Oof. Why? <laughs> We have to. She broke up with Jalen six months ago. So she's going to take pole dancing classes to meet someone. What? How are you going to meet someone? Well, she turns out she does meet someone. She meets the um, instructor who also has a face made of clay. Okay. But Leah's face doesn't move. No. Like at all. No, it doesn't move, but it's also um, filled with mashed potatoes. It's filled with mashed potatoes that look like it's been molded in a lumpy way. Yeah. Too much highlighter on the nose, too. I mean, the highlighter is just yeah. blinding, if you will. Yeah. So her friend Nicole comes over and she tells her all about her pole dancing experience. Yeah, Leah's home in her cap, too. Who sits in their house with she a cap? She always does now. Cap that's on? her that's her look now. That's her look with leggings. She looked so sexy in the pole dancing classes. She's so empowered. Mm. Uh female mm. empowerment, live, laugh, love, pasta pot, lipstick. Lipstick. What is it? Sensi? No, it, it wasn't Sensi. I lip sense. Lip sense. Yeah, that's what it was. To do oh like, oh my, my God. Keywords. Stand in your power. Yeah, stand in it. Stand in it. I'm standing stand in right it. And in pull it. yourself up on the pole. Um, okay, that was pretty cool. I couldn't do that. No, well, I couldn't even a little bit do that. I yeah. couldn't even think about doing that. Yeah, I was like, good for you. She's got a good shape to her. She's got a hot body. Yeah, she does. But it's like, she since really when? Does. I didn't even know. Oh, about a while. Because a little while. No, I know. But it's like, you think about like when she was like slapped with the bacon. Right. I didn't know her body was I mean, like this. Yeah, because she was she was eleven years old. Yeah, it's crazy. That's she didn't. Well, go what are you talking about? Yet. I had a hot bod when I was eleven. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I had a great bod. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Well, let's move on. So <laughs> she's just you know what she learned from this experience with Jalen and with pole dancing is that she's just going to try to trust herself more. I say trust yourself less. She says though I say, that I like say bring in an entire other. Truly, of people to you, make your decisions. You know how you say you don't trust anyone? Extend that to yourself. <laughs> you know what? It should be mostly yourself. Yeah, ninety nine percent, I'd say. She's like, I'm so closed off that I moved my girls into some guy's house and put all my dogs in the garage. Right. It was a week and a half. I'm so closed off. She says that she should have. She knew something was off in the beginning, and she should have listened to her intuition. What was off, Leah? What was off? What was off, Leah? What was off? Hmm? What was off? What what was your intuition telling you? Just tell me. What was it saying? Say it. Say it right now. I won't tell anyone. Say it right now. I can't wait till this NDA is up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Kate, the instructor, calls and she's like, Hey, is your face still clay? And she's like, Yeah. Is yours? And she's like, Yeah. So she's like, Listen, we're gonna have a poll party for single moms. For single moms, we're gonna invite a few guys and just be a boss babe. But what does that mean? You're having you're going to dance for these guys? I have no clue what that means. I don't think they know what they... So now yeah. all of a sudden we see this post. It's a story from the mm -hmm. gym. And it says, quote, looking for hot guys and sugar daddies that want to talk to her. First, they're like, oh, Leah from Teen Mom is gonna is part of our, right. our thing, right? So Christina and Shailene come over. Yes. And she's like, guys, can you believe that someone definitely not associated with the gym posted on their account? I, I would... I, I felt bridge. like I, I felt like I was missing something here. No, you're not missing something. Leah's missing okay. something because Leah probably got really upset and then called Clayface, and uh -huh. she was like, oh, "Who posted that? That was right. someone not associated with us." Right. <laughs> That's what I would have said. Yeah, I'm like, I don't really. Understand. I would have been like, "Well, we've been hacked. You want to have very guys? specifically, we've been hacked. Right, uh, just us." And, and it was so specific. weird. It's like you're gonna have guys at this poll party. Like I was so confused. Then someone, like, are they making an announcement about Leah? Like I was so yeah. Confused. There was yeah. yeah no. Um. So Leah's grandmother is binge drinking on the porch. Her eyes tell me a lot about her drinking history. Her eyes are the windows to her soul. Yeah, a lot and of also her there. liver. <laughs> the it's eyes liver are window. the windows to the liver. <laughs> You got to love a liver window. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, it was a yellow window. I'll tell you that much. Um, So <laughs> Leah starts like, she's like, grandma, listen in on this. 
She's like, I went to a pole dancing class and I was first like, oh, shoot. She's like, I was self-conscious. And I was like, oh, shoot. But then I was oh, like, shoot. hey. Yeah, cool. Right. Also, do you see her friend's honey tattoo? Yeah, uh, of course I did with the little thing. The What's that thing honey called? Dipper? Yeah, with the honey dipper. I was like, are you kidding me with this tattoo? Is that her Also, nickname? Leah's like, my friends are coming over for a cookout. A- Leah. Leah. It Leah. looked like a shot out to me. <laughs> First of all, it was a drink out. Yeah. Your friends? Who are these people? Who are your friends for a cookout? I didn't even know grandma existed. We've never seen her before. Never. She's probably Whose like, mom is that? I don't know. Is that Dawn's mom? It's is gotta that be scary Dawn's dad's mom? mom? It can't be scary dad. It's Who really be knows? There's no way to know. There's no way to know. Um, so we find out that grandpa left grandma after 38 years and it took her five years to get out of bed. Yeah, and but then Leah's like my grandmother definitely sees the parallels yes. between our breakups. It's what like, does that mean? Did grandpa leave grandma for, you know, Russell? Right. <laughs> for Dominic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to know. I don't know. One day right. we'll know. Moving on to Cheyenne. Okay. So the trial's coming up and she gets a lot of anxiety when she drives. So she calls Zach and she says that she's having a panic attack. This is how she calls Zach. Can I yeah. want to be Zach? Yep. Hey. Hey. I'm driving the car. Okay, you okay? No. What's up? Um, it makes me really nervous to drive the car. Well, do you want to just like pull over and take an Uber home? Mm, I think I'll drive for a little bit more. Okay, well, just know that you're safe. Everything is fine. Where are you? I'm totally flipping out. Oh, okay. So then you should just pull the car over. I'm around the corner from the house. Should I take a cab? Take a cab. Wow, I'm having a full-blown panic attack. You would never know it. I wish my (laughs) panic attacks were that calm. Could you imagine? No. She's not even glistening with sweat. (laughs) She doesn't want to face her issues, so she doesn't want to go to therapy. Um, So I like how Zach is like, hey, are you nervous from the shooting? No way. Do you think she's I like, had something to do with that? She's like, is it is it because is it because my friend shot us? Because uh, I owed the money. Yeah, I remember would think when that I put our kids' lives in danger. Mm-hmm. All right, so yes. she's gonna go to hypnosis now. I have to tell you a secret about hypnosis. Yeah, it's called hypnotherapy. Okay, therapy. It's just therapy. She's going to therapy. I mean, I, but she said like her dad did it to quit smoking. Me and my father also did it. It didn't work. Yes. Also, yeah. it's therapy. Why don't you well, just I don't, to... Is it all therapy? Oh, no, but I'm just saying it's a, it's a type of therapy. It's like just she go to therapy. She doesn't want to. She can't. She's got this weird like thing against pride. therapy. This weird pride yeah. thing. Yeah. So the hypnotist, hypnotist says, uh, you know, six to seven sessions mm-hmm. and um, she Carmella. does it. Right. She does it. And she goes into the guest room afterwards to do her confessional. Right. And she's crying in the guest room that she doesn't want to be a victim. Well, I will say this. You are a victim, though. You absolutely are a victim. I mean, not in a bad way. I don't think she's playing the victim. No No way. You're being a victim. You actually are are the victim. Like in a non-condescending way. Yeah. Of course, you're scared to drive and be in the car. Something very bad happens to you then. But wow. If you could teach me how to have a panic attack, I would love to do it like you. Me too. It's like. Oh, I'm just, I'm really flipping out. Yeah, I'm flipping out. Really flipping okay. out. Where? On the inside, I guess. And the outside, you know, just flipping out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. Speaking of flipping out, let's talk about Brianna. Weird. Okay. All right. So she's super proud of the girls. Um, Stella got an, a math medal. I love that. Never in my life. So she goes on a walk mm-hmm. with Shay, Shay, right? With Shay. Mm-hmm. And she talks about how Lewis showed no affection to Stella and she doesn't want to get Lewis to get custody if she dies. She's so, not wrong. So she wants to relinquish his rights and have Brittany adopt Stella. Now, I don't know. I mean, obviously we learned a little bit more, but like, I don't know if that's exactly the way. Right. Like, so they have this picnic. Would she be adopting her now? You know what I mean? It's so confusing. <laughs> I don't know. They have this picnic. They have this dog in a crate. He sh- honestly, though, Lewis should relinquish his rights. He is not a father. Like, come on. 
Of stupid. course he should. So yeah. Brittany's like, yeah, of course I'll adopt her. I'll do whatever. She's like, these are my kids anyway. I raised them. She's like, you go to Texas, you go to Miami, you're in LA. Like, yeah, these are my kids. I like that. She's like, I don't have kids, but spiritually they're mine. But I Roxanne mean, thought she was going to choose her. Okay. But also Roxanne, you're going to be dead too. Well, well, that's the thing. She's like, and I was thinking about having her and Roxanne opened her mouth. And then she's like, Brittany. And then Roxanne's like, oh, you should be flattered. I know, but it's like, is this Roxanne. a competition? Also, you're still going to be living with Brittany. It's going to be fine. Yeah, Roxanne, you're going to be 100. <laughs> so um, Roxanne wants her to not give up on Lewis. What is wrong with this? Is, is she sleeping toxic. with him? This is toxic behavior. I know. For someone who lied to Brianna about it, to lie to Brittany about who her father was. This is for like a years. Bit... Yeah, for her whole life. Jeez. Yeah. All right. So she goes to this lawyer. Mm-hmm. Noel. Mm-hmm. Did he just get in a knife fight in the parking lot? <laughs> yes. Yes. With his Band-Aid on his head. He got slashed across his head. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. So they were the mall people, him and that girl. <laughs> I know. So he's like, she's like explaining to him what she wants to do. And he's like, yeah, the thing is you're in Florida. Right. You can't do that. And he's like, you can't do any of that. But thank you for coming. But maybe she could talk to Lewis about mm-hmm. giving up his rights. I'm sure he would sign them away. I really do believe that he would. That he would sign over his rights. Yeah, I think Lewis is dying to sign yeah, over his rights. Uh, yeah, I think he's like, please let me. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you my John Hancock. <laughs> Can't they just do something about guardianship? I don't know. Okay, yeah, no. I would probably go see another lawyer because this right. guy can't be trusted. <laughs> no, his brains are falling out. Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the other side of this. Mm-hmm. God forbid something happens to Brianna. Yeah. You think... Lewis is showing up. Hell no. Lewis to be like, can someone else do it? Lewis is gonna be like, you know, hablang les. He's gonna be like, I'm uptown. I'm so uptown. I'm in the <laughs> middle of the ocean. I am trucker copping. I am in Antarctica, uptown. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like he's not gonna get Stella because he don't want her, honey. He doesn't. So yeah. right. um you can't so this lawyer's like yeah you can't have blood relatives okay yeah he tells Brianna that there's no blood relatives so she tells uh, Roxanne there's no blood retilives she's like no blood retilives yeah no blood blood retilives come on yeah so Roxy wants her to teach Lewis how to be a dad that's not her job and then Brianna cries she needs some time alone she's like can you please please pick up um the girls the girls she's like because i know that i go on vacation every day and i know that like you raise them all ready but i need some alone time i need alone time my whole life is alone time (laughs) all right moving on to jade all right i fell asleep (laughs) well at least she's not at least at least jade's nervous system is regulated here's the thing jade i'm Mm getting controversial opinion here i'm getting tired of watching her cry <laughs> no yeah. it's it's yeah. so much though this is a lot because now it's like i get what she's going through because hello been there you can't always be the victim you can't always be the victim you just Why? can't it's always not, be just, the sometimes victim it's just not about it's you it's just not about you right so her mom apparently wants to leave they had uh the kathy her right. mother's one-on-one mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh asked her mom if she would want to stay another month she suggested it and she flipped out and was like i'm getting out of here sign the papers to check herself out so she calls her dad scream crying while her dad's in rehab trying I, to work like on he needs this he's like yeah i don't know he's the only one that seems okay i know she's like is there any way i could break down dad right is there any way i could get him to relapse early so kathy calls kim which means that jade wasn't picking up for kathy right mm-hmm and she's like, hello, can you put me on speakerphone? She's like, what is wrong with all of you? She's like, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it, Jade? She, and I was yeah, like, oh, Kathy. Dick. <laughs> then she's like, she's not going anywhere. She's like, she's not going anywhere. She was overreacting. Stop, yeah. stop. She's like, all of you, stop. Yeah, guys, stop she's with like, the I hate theatrics. You. I hate your whole family. Yeah, stop with the three theatrics. It's like, she's not going anywhere. This is what people do. They just flip out when they hear yeah, the Yeah, she was threatening. That's it. Mm-hmm. So Jade gets home from rehab tour. Yeah. (laughs) And Kim comes over and they sit on dollhouse furniture outside. Oh, I know. Uh Uh-huh. Kathy's like, 
Yeah, your mom is staying for the original 90 days. Like, nothing right. has changed, actually. Yeah. Kim, she's like, I think your mom's going to come home and be great. Well, I don't know what on earth would lead you to believe that, Kim. I don't know, Kim. I think you need to go and visit uh, Christy for a Christy. long time. Yeah. yeah, maybe you could do a 90-day stint with her because <laughs> I'm thinking... That Christy's going to come home and bingo her way to homelessness. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. This It's not because it's true. It's too real. Yeah. This is that's what's going to happen with Christy. Yeah, this is not good. Mm-mm. Not not good. Um. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Leave us a five star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on because we absolutely love you. Make sure you come to our live show in New York City, New York City. New York City. When is it, Noel? It is November 11th. Yeah, November 11th. Um, 11 11. 11 11 at 4 p.m. Caveat. We have um we have a new review. Oh, okay. From Love in LA. Okay. A new forever fan. Ooh. Yama, Catfish Park. There's no way we can know. I love this pod. I've spent way too much time with them since I discovered them maybe two weeks ago. Lux in his Thor costume like George Michael. I'm so here for those <laughs> ladies. Then we have another one. KT000. Love this podcast. I just recently found this podcast and I'm loving it. I started with episode one and I'm currently binging my way through. I can't get enough. We love you. DJ Trucker Cop Lou writes, I LOL often. <laughs> I've been listening since 2019, and this is one of my favorite podcasts to listen to. I have started it over several times and laugh along with Tracy and Noelle daily. Oh, I love that. Let me tell you something. New yeah. listener Jenny said, I have gone down a rabbit hole and started from episode one. You ladies are hilarious. If I could just share that you were more blunt at the beginning, and I loved it. Now it seems almost scripted. Let's get back to before. I loved you unfiltered. Absolutely not. If you listen to the beginning of this episode and you yeah. heard our descriptions, no good. You know what's so crazy? Scripted. Do you think that we would fucking script this? Scripted. Script this. Script this. You (laughs) think we sit down and write what we're going to say? But that's what I mean. I don't even want to take notes on the show. (laughs) And I'm not even softer than I used to be. I think I'm meaner. (laughs) You're meaner. I'm a little softer. Yeah, you're a little softer. You're more understanding. I am. I'm just really grown as a person. Yeah. mm -hmm. You're 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 definitely grown as a person. I'm not going to say anything else. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, hey Noel, uh, you're fired. <laughs> oh, guys, you heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it it's here just Tracy from times. now. On. It's just Tracy from now on. It's just Tracy. Tracy talking to herself. <laughs> Tracy's gonna be like, okay, I'll be Zach and I'll be Cheyenne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm God. flipping out. Where are you? Uh, you think right, okay. I got a shot? Did I take an Uber? Yeah. <laughs> tracycarnazzo.com for everything um everything podcast related is at tracycarnazzo.com you could literally find everything that you ever wanted to know about anything there but in the meantime follow the podcast at teen mom trash talk on instagram teen mom podcast on twitter or x whatever you call it go Mm -hmm. to go to tiktok trash talk podcast follow noel at noe girl on instagram twitter and tiktok follow me at trixie tuzini on instagram twitter and tiktok tracycarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates i'm going to be coming to maryland so if you're in maryland come on hell yeah bye forever <laughs>